the swamp. I mean, uh, Stalker, Clear Sky. A beautiful game. The greatest. Oh. The first successful Slavic simulator of life in the swamp. An enthralling masterpiece that makes you drown in the gameplay. Wonderful book. I mean, work. This game is a prequel of Shadow of Chernobyl. Everything is same. Bad weather, scary houses and dirt. But now you're not running to the center of the zone as Strelok, but as a mercenary you're running after Strelok. And it's also humid and smells like moss. In short, if you miss all these joys in your life, welcome here. Today, without further ado, we will dive into this wonderful world. And now pour your favorite drink, right? Mmm, swamp, and let's get started. The game begins with the rugged mercenary's car leading the scientist through the zone. No, he does not have scars, he's just rough. Like the bayonet, the rock, the flint. So our scar, in Russian shram, leads the scientist and suddenly senses that something is wrong. He stops people and looks into the signals of the zone, invisible to the common eye. Birds, animals, all living things have decided abruptly that it's time to get the hell out. He looks at this and, like the previous intellectual, just keeps going. And of course a blowout hits everyone. Buttercup, But our smart guy survives, because he's a special snowflake. While he's unconscious, the local hobos find him, because this is the zone. The local hobos say they got our hero out, but they can't explain why he survived, and why the wind is raging in the building tearing down leaves. And he says that their super secret base, which no one knows about, is always being attacked by all the hobos in the area. And now mutants have attacked the base as well. And we need to help this whole base, but only in secret. We come to help, our comrade offers us to abuse the boars into guns. You realize, of course, that this is the zone, but the prospect is still not happy. Fortunately, a blowout happens and the local sex giant goes down with his gun. Our comrade falls earlier, so we have time to get the habar off of him. And then you fall yourself. And again our unconscious snowflake is dragged to bed by other men. Because this is the zone. Это зона. Our intellectual hero tries to figure out what happened. He is answered blowout. It was the same one just now. The blowouts are happening more and more often. Because some other intellectual is trying to break into the center of the zone and ruin everything there. Да, да, я про тебя. Тукан. Someone has to stop it. Someone special. But before you go to some dealer named Sidorevich for plan details, you have to clean out the secret swamps from the hordes of hobos that hang out here. You play a granny simulator with the smartphone. Смотри, вот раздел задачи. Прокручивать их список можно при помощи кнопок. And go on a perch. As you walk, you're constantly being yelled. We're surrounded! We can't hold it! Мы долго не продержимся! Помоги, быстрее! You get there and see one hobo running away. You nullify him and the friendly hobos say to you Oh, we could not have done it without you. And you move on. You beat the hobos more. By the number of hobos you realize that this is actually their land. You crawl through beautiful bushes and swamps, you see Burger King spawn right in front of you and immediately start biting your ass. Now artifacts are located in anomalies. For example, a protective one against fire. It's in the fire and you won't need it anymore. You've already burned your ass off. Very handy. And also, now you look for artifacts with a detector. Without it, you won't even see them. And now you will always run with a detector in one hand and a bolt slash gun in the other. You hunt hobos again. To do this, you find them at a watering hole, apparently. You return home to the Bart festival. Drop your habar, fix and upgrade your inventory. Yes, there are upgrades in this part of the game. So now you can turn your pants into legendary high-performance pants. 
to pass faster and linger less. Now you can go to the Cardon to Sidorevich. The guide says that for the first and last time leads you because he is lazy. And then you will go to the secret base on your own. So it is a good idea to remember this secret road. And tell others so they can remind you if anything. The guide leads us straight into the arms of the mad gunner, who frantically shoots everything he sees. You jump away from him as much as you can and run away as fast as you can. To Sidrich. Здорово. I remind you, this is the prequel. And he's bald. So there's a hair transplant clinic in the zone. Sidorevich says he has a problem. Arrange with the military to let the locals through with the suitcase, and they can't get away from the machine gun. And we have to deal with it. In short, the soldiers here believe that if you are just walking down the street, it is a criminal offense. At least that's what Vladimir thinks. Vist. In my case, it was Vladimir Met. Anyway, neither of them is left, because they are dumb and the habar from them is decent. We come to the locals, they say they've worked with the military, but the military turned out to be rats and now they have a hostage, Krisa, and they need to talk to him. Since our hero is an intellectual, the conversation goes like this. Иди нахрен, козёл! Uh, okay. We go back to the local boss and tell him that the negotiations were unsuccessful. He says, well, let's f*** them all up. Okay. Amazing diplomacy. You scatter all the military and the hostage cracks where the suitcase is. Ладно, Крис, я скажу. You go after the suitcase and on the way you see some kind of bubble. Thinking it is a portal, you jump into it and get to Nihiland. Нет, of course not. This is the zone. That's why you end up in a hobo place with loot. And here you are at Sidrich place. For the suitcase, he says that you, Shram, need an important person named Klik. You really don't remember why you need this Klik and what's going on, but you know one thing for sure. Now you need to go to the hobos at the dump. Сколько сувениров здесь можно найти? You are sitting with a man by the fire, fight with the hobos in the same place as in the previous part. At the dump, of course, everyone is dead and you have to run some more. Okay, you watch their party in the anomalies. We come to a new location. There we are told that the area is under quarantine. You have to hide your weapons and slowly walk up. We hide. Begin to walk up, and the local intellectuals knock us out. We restart to get revenge and govno. Smysli. Uh. And then it turns out that you have to stand still and not move. It's just this is the zone. And any movement causes instant excitement in the locals. Zona, zona. You are asked who you are and what you want. You say you are Shram and you want click. You are told that the locals are on edge because they are attacked all the time and they advise you to go straight to the base. But you do not attack. You hear gunfire, they ask you to check it out. Наемник, проверь, что случилось. It turns out that the local hobos were attacked by dogs and apparently robbed. Sounds like a typical Russian news cast. You are not surprised, come to the base, say I'm Shram, I need click. They don't tell you anything, but ask you to do a favor first. What kind of favor can it be? Huh? Huh? The answer is to protect the local hobos and attack the dog. We attack and come back. You are asked for more help. Why is everyone here so helpless? It turns out that there is no one to help, because the local hobos had a traitor. He must have made the deal with the dogs? Now you have to catch him, and then we will tell you where to find the right important person. You lick the hobos habar to the same hobos. I am maladit, I am manula shota. And you keep running, alternating between vodka and energy drinks. Typical Slavic jogging. Immediately a message appears that you have found the traitor. But you did not find him. There is only dirt and poop around. You find the traitor's PDA, bring it and they tell you that the hobo you want, click, was looking for some garbage here. And you could have guessed it right away, he went looking for it further into the dump. 
Вы на канале Хорошая Свалка, и сегодня у нас очередной поход за новыми находками. Скейринг the guitarist of way, we see some kind of basement, and we understand that this is the zone, and in any basement hobos are lurking. Even dogs still here. We drop our weapons and go to the basement. Yeah, that's right, hobos wrapped us. Ёптыть, отличный подвал! Чё им тут мёдом помазано? We hear magic music. That means there's another carload of hobos. There's too many of them. So many that we are already turning into hobo ourselves. На тебе гранату! Did I say that? Опа! Оп! In the right hall X18, I mean X16, блин. In the right hall near Agroprom leave some stuff. Like moles mutants. Next to this hall, some hobos live there. Since the hobos are high intellectuals, they blew the hole. Мы решили обвалить один боковой тоннель. The moles didn't like it. So they started biting off the intellectuals' intellectual lessons. The thinkers decided that, you know, not enough has been blown up. And they need more. Умницы и умники. It's amazing. But mutant mole can dig holes. And they dig, and they come out and bite the asses of the locals again. Mutants started to rip the nose and jump out of the window. This fact especially surprises the local minder. He thinks it is a conspiracy from the outside. Come on, they blew everything up. What the heck? And not thinking long. Although in this case maybe a long thing. This smart guy comes up with a cunning plan and asks you to not blow up, but to flood the hole. And we are literally climbing into some kind of hole. They show us a fire show with stuntmen, we catch hallucinations, meet a very attractive man, he shows us his hand and grunts like a grandpa on a stepladder. We pull something and are told in large letters to leave the danger zone and run to the general zone. Because it's a zone. In the place where there used to be a flash drive, there is now a smartphone with a podcast from Strelok. Всем привет, это Стрелок. Now we have to go somewhere else. And the only thing left in this place are the ho- So this is it. That is the first half of the second part of the stalker. You write in the comments which stalker of the two you like better, leave a like for the next episode to come out and subscribe to the channel. And that's all for today. My name is Mark, and see you next time, black.